Here's integrated three, it's problem 10-24. Um, it wants us to sketch a graph. Um, so what I do is I'll usually try to find out what A and H and K in the period are. Um, so I look here and I know that A is in front of sign, so A is one. Uh, B, this is actually in the in the B position, so 0.5 is B, and then I plug that into my formula. I know that um, period is 2 pi over B, so I plug B in there, and that helps me find my period. So 2 pi uh, divided by the a half, if you multiply the top and bottom by 2 to get rid of this, then you end up with 4 pi, so that's Oh, okay, so so I wrote, good thing I didn't graph it yet. So the period is 4 pi, I wrote 2 pi for some reason. And then k, um, there's nothing being added on here, so k is 0, and h is pi. So that means it's going to look like this graph, so I'm going to use these uh, three points to start you know, graphing my sine function, I like to start at, um, I use the horizontal, like I'm going to start at pi, because that's h. Okay, and then I know that I'm, I usually I'll take the first two dots, like if that's the first one, then the second one is 4 pi away from it. So I'm counting by pi's here, so I'll just go 1, 2, 3, 4 pi. And that should make sense because from pi to 5 pi, that's a distance of 4 pi. So that I've got these two. Then I just find the one that's in the middle. So that's this one. And then let's see, what's my amplitude? Just 1. So I'll go up by one and down by one. That's just one cycle. So that's letter A. Now letter B, a shoe print. <laughs> letter B is 10 times sine of 3x minus 2, so I look I look here to find A, and that's 10, and then I like to find my period, so I went period is 2 pi over B, but B, 3 was in the B position, so I got 2 pi over 3, so that's my period. H is 0 because it's there's nothing inside the parentheses for a horizontal shift. K is negative 2. So the first thing I do is I draw a dotted line for k and then I make sure that I scale my axes so I can go up and down by whatever the amplitude is like so in this case it's 10 that's why these little lines are so small and then um, I look where my first point is and since there's no h or h is 0 I put it there and then I usually I'll try to place my last point on by adding, you know, adding it to the first point. So my period is uh, 2 pi over 3, so that means the cycle will end, like the distance from 0 to the end of it would be 2 pi over 3, so that's easy. So what I did is I counted by like 1 pi, uh, wait, how did I do that? I counted 1 pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, and then I just put some middle points in there. So, this is 1 pi over 3. I don't know why I wrote it as 2 pi over 6. And then the high point goes here, it's up by 10. One, two, See, and then the low point. This, I'm not sure why I counted it as 6. It's just pi over 3, isn't it? Okay, so I think that's the graph right there. 
and then letter C five times cosine X uh, plus pi over four so um, cosine graph looks like this so I'm gonna I'm gonna start here and end here and I'll figure it out so I look for a a is five the period is given by B but when I look in the position where B is B is supposed to be over here somewhere but um, I don't see a B so that means that the periods just that means B is 1 which means the period is just 2 pi H you know how it's X minus H so H is negative pi over 4 and K there's nothing added so K is 0 so I'll sketch a, an axis and I know that this is going to be my center line here I know my amplitude is going to be 5 my horizontal shift is um, left by pi over 4 so I'm going to start my graph on a high point at negative pi over 4 and then I'm going to end my graph exactly 2 pi away from the first dot that I made so really see how this is shifted over from 0 by 1 all I have to do is look at the 2 pi and shift left also by 1 and so that's how I got that point and then I find the middle ground in between these two and it's not drawn very nicely but that would be the middle point that's halfway in between these two and then these are the points that are halfway between the middle and the edge and then I just kind of put some arrows on it Okay, so that was letter C and then here's letter D letter D um, A is 1 because I look right here to find it uh, B is 2 so I had to go 2 pi over B so that's 2 pi over 2 and those cross out so the um, periods pi H is pi over 4 and K is 0 so I know my center line is just going to be on the x-axis I know my the first point in my graph is going to be at pi over 4 and that's a high point my amplitude's 1 so the high point is just going to be right here and then I ask myself well pi over 4 plus pi because remember the period's pi or I can just say you know from from the zero to pi if I just shift everything over by one that gives me my second my second dot and then I find the exact middle in between these two that's three pi over four that gives me my third point and then I find the exact middle of these two and these two that's how I'm getting all my my five points I'm using a five five point method here and that's how you graph them. And that's all I got.